In our last video, we learned how to create some data in our backend and we created our Node.js API for that. So in this video, we are going to learn how to fetch that data from our backend and we will do this with the help of Node.js API means we are going to create another API and fetch the data from our backend. So watch this video till the end and if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and press that bell icon so you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. One more thing, if you don't know how to set up the node environment on your system and create the post method, you can watch our previous video so you will understand the whole process and after that you can continue the read operation. So let's start. Okay, so as you can see, this is our application running and in here in the lib folder, we have a home dot dot and in here on the click of this read button, we are navigated to our fetch data. So which is a stateless widget and if I click on it, we are navigated to our fetch data. So we will display the data from our backend to this screen. So before that, we need to create a method to fetch the data. So as you know that we created this services folder and in here we created API dot dot and we created the post method here to post the data to our backend. So let's create a, another method which will be get method to get the data. So it will be static and get product and after that it will be a sync and in here it will be HTTP or you can simply use final response is equal to await and HTTP dot get and in here we need to pass the URL so it will be empty for now so just say URI dot pass and it will be empty so whatever returns from this get request we are storing it in the rest variable and after that we need to check if rest dot status code is equal to 200 then perform this else perform that so after that we need to just cut it and paste it in a try catch block so paste the code in try section and for the catch i will just say print and e dot to string so i can see if there is any issue we know how everything is working that's why i'm not explaining it so if you don't know how to work with rest apis you can watch our playlist the link will be available in description and also in the i button so you will understand properly so here it is our get method so now we need to go to our node server so i have opened it in another vs code okay so here is our node so as i told you that if you don't know how to do all this setup and create the post method you need to watch our last videos so as this is the post api now we will create a get api so for that let's use a app dot get and in here we need to pass the path so we know that the path will be api slash our get product okay so after that we need to say request and response so whatever we request to this method will be stored in the request and the response will be sent through the response and after that we need to pass this okay so this is our get api and now we need to work on it so as we know that this is our endpoint so i'll just copy it and go back to my flutter code and in here i will just create another variable so in this get method i will say var url is equal to uri dot parse and in here it will be our base url which is this and after that we need to pass our this get product and save it so this is your url and now you can use this at the place of get so url okay so everything is done and now go back to the node server and in here we need to return the data so first of all we need to check that if our product data dot length is greater than zero means there is some data in our backend so we will need to send it so we will use res means response dot status and we want to send the status code as 200 and after that we will send the response as 
dot send and in here we will use the map so we will say status code and it will be 200 and after that we need to send the data so it will be products and it will be our product data and okay so this is the case if there is some data in our backend and if there is no data we will use the else part and let's just copy all this and paste it here but instead of product data we will return an empty list okay so just save it okay so this is our get api and now we can use it so go back to your flutter code and in here as we are checking the status code is equal to 200 means it will return the rest.status 200 so if this is 200 we need to say data is equal to our json decode and in here we need to pass the rest.body so it will decode the response okay so let's just print it so print our data here so if you want to see the result before using it on your application you can use your postman or any other client to send a request and then you can see the response so if you are using the vs code you can do it easily you just need to go to extensions and after that you need to install a thunder client so just open it and now you can install it so just wait for it okay so it is installed let's close it and here this is our thunder client click it and here you need to click on the new request and after that you need to pass the url so it will be http let me just copy it from this okay so it will be this and after that let's paste it and after that we need to say get our product okay so this is a get method and if i just click on send so we got an error here because the connection was refused by the server because the server is not running so we need to go to our node server and in here we need to type node and index.js to start our server so now it is connected at 2000 port so go back to your flutter code and in here send it again okay so this time we got the error because our vs code don't know what is this address so just remove it and instead we use localhost colon 2000 and if i just click on send now so now you can see the response which is status code 200 and the products is empty because there is no product added in our backend so it means we need to add so just click on this create and the name will be glass price will be 1000 and description will be good glass or anything okay so click on this create okay so we can see that we passed the data but uh, we got no response let's go to our node server and in here we also got no response okay so there is some issue let's check it so we need to go to the settings of our emulator okay so as you can see the proxy is unreachable so we need to apply this again so just enter the port number and your ip address and just click apply so what's the issue proxy is unreachable why it is unreachable okay so if i click on apply and now it is success okay so now we can use it and if i just click on this create so create and now we got the status code as 200 and after that the message which is product added successfully in our node server we can see that we got the response and after that after some work on it this is our final so as we have successfully added one product let's go to our thunder client and send this request again and now you can see we got a json in which we have a product which is a list and in this list we have this product okay it has id1 p name p price and p description so now we know how to get the data from our response so just copy it 
and after that close this okay so here we need to create a list so up here in this method we will say our list of product and it will be products is equal to empty list so after decoding the data we will run a loop on it so it will be data and in here we just paste it so we want to run a loop on the products in this data so dot for each so it will be value and after that use a arrow method and this okay so here just use our products so products dot add and in here we need to add the values which is of type product so we know that we got a model which is product and in here we have these three things so for the name we will use the value and in this value we want to get the p name and after that we will use the description so it will be value of p description and after that for the price it will be value of p price okay so after that we need to return our products so just after the end of this loop say return products and just save it so if this is not the case means the status code is not 200 then we want to return an empty list okay so just save it and now we need to go to our ui so this is the fetch the dot so in here in the body i will just remove it and use a future builder here so for the future i want to say api dot get product and remove this initial data and okay so after that we need to check if the snapshot dot has data means and also add a not here which means that if the data is loading so i want to return a center widget and in the center child i want to use a circular progress indicator and just save it and if this is not the case so in the else part i will just remove this and use a return here so i want to return a list view builder and in here i want to set the item count so before that let me just create another list here so it will be a list of product and just import it and after that name it as p data so it will be equal to our snapshot dot data okay so now we need to set the length according to the p data dot length so it will only return the items according to the length of this p data and after that we need to add a terminator here and let's return a list tile so here we need to say for the leading property i will use an icon so it will be icon start storage you can use any and after that for the title i will say text widget and here in this text widget i want to use my p data so p data index and from this index i want to use the name okay so same goes for the subtitle and after that for the trailing property i want to show some price so i will use text and in here same and after that i want to say p data according to the index and it will be the price and I also add a dollar sign here so okay so uh, let's change it to our description and just save it okay so our ui is also done let's add another one in our backend so this time i will add a mobile price will be 1000 and the description will be nokia c3 okay create it and it is created and now if i go back and click on this read button let me just clear it okay so if i just click on this read button we can see two things in the two values which is class and mobile so this is our old value that we added and this is the new one okay so let's add another one so for that we need to go back create and this time i will add a mouse price will be 3000 and the description is 
our results and create it okay so mouse is also added read it and here is our mouse okay so everything is working and this is how you can create your own api to get the data from your backend so i hope you liked this video if you did press that like button and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new so see you in the next one till that allah is